Okay, apparently this takes a ton of memory, so I'm going to have to do this in many tiny segments. Hey, get out of the bush! Stop that! See, my beagle likes the pomegranates, and so he destroys the flowers by rubbing himself against the tree, which is sort of uh, annoying to me. So what we have in the yard here are a series of raised beds. That's because uh, the Nevada soil really sucks. Um, the Las Vegas Valley is full of uh, rocks, pebbles, and what they call caliche. And I live very near to the natural Las Vegas wash where the uh, water would normally drain out of the valley and down into the Colorado River Basin. So the soil here is very full of toxins. It's high in boron content, high in salt content, and not very uh, compatible with any kind of gardening. And yet you can see that there's stuff growing in my yard anyway. And that's because I, number one, didn't rely on that. And number two, my neighborhood's a little bit different. In order to bring my neighborhood up above the flood stage, I'm actually standing on top of three vertical feet of number two fill. <laughs> So they brought in a bunch of fill dirt to bring the, the dirt level up. So my soil underneath this is actually probably better than the standard Las Vegas soil, even though it is number two fill, which is basically crap. Um, it's rocky and doesn't have a lot of nutrients and almost no organic material. So you can see the beds here are very high in organic material. So the beds range in height. This is the shortest one here. These are eight inches deep. Uh, that one is 16. There's some other 8 inches uh, up to uh, those back ones there are about 16 inches deep above the native soil level. And uh, what I did, I'll show you some stills in a moment, is uh, I, I, for the plants that are buried, the trees, I did actually have to dig holes. I'll, have a, I'll insert a picture of that uh, for you. There it is. Or I had to dig some holes in order to get them down into the native soil, which isn't really native. It's that number two chat. And then I backfilled everything with organic material and a mixture to make sure that the soil percolates. It's absolutely essential that your soil percolates because plants can actually drown if you give them too much water. And I have uh, a couple of examples in the backyard of plants that I have drowned because I didn't do a very good job. Um, so anyway, that's one of the problems. Uh, what you'll see here, and I'll show you some stills of uh, what's underneath this, is at the bottom of this I put the same rock that's down here around it, and the bottom to make sure that the soil drains. So the very bottom layer of this is covered with uh, with rocks, and then uh, there's soil on top of this. And some of it is native soil, the rest of it is this um, organic compost that uh, contains, uh, this is part uh, organic material, part uh, manure, and then part sand in order to make sure that it's uh, got all of the nutrients and such that is necessary. So on the back porch, or the back patio here, you can see where I've uh, tried to mix some things together. Uh, this was a very intensive process, and uh, there's a cheaper way to do it yourself and not have quite as big of a mess. But this is a working experimental garden, and you're the first people really to visit it in almost a year, so I'm not really concerned with whether or not you like it. Uh, what you see here, these are uh, this is peat moss that uh, that I've obtained and to try and work in. Uh, I can't remember why exactly peat moss, but for some reason it just sticks out in my mind. And then uh, scraps end up in the backyard too, which is actually how the melons over here in the corner got there. Is I chucked the innards of a cantaloupe out here, and they decided to grow. So um, every now and then I get some freebies. I like this one. I have really no idea what this is. I think it's just a weed, but we'll see. And then my neighbor's palm tree does the same thing. Um, in the bigger planters, in order to not have too much soil there, in addition to the small rocks, I also have these large chunks of concrete that are buried in there just to uh, further percolate the soil. So the deeper ones, like you see back here, um, there's only about eight inches of soil in there and the rest of it's backfill to bring it up, but I don't really need the roots to go deep. In the case of the trees and the grapevines, I did dig holes uh, below that and they were planted and then filled around so that they actually do punch through the rocks, through the concrete. Everything else is actually pretty shallow rooted or designed to be. Uh, these were originally chosen to be my uh, potato pots, but uh, I don't. I think the potatoes actually cooked inside. I haven't dug them up yet to see, but I'm pretty sure they're dead because they never did sprout. Anyway, so. Um, for the rest of this first video, we're going to talk about soil prep, some of the, uh, the reasons why I did what I did. I'll show you some pictures, some uh, construction, and uh, there'll be some narration from there.